Microsoft researchers are refining Connect hand motion controls. Right now, if you want to use your hands, for instance, to press a button, you need to wait a uh, wait in a certain pose such that your hand is hovering on a button, a meter fills up, and how, that's how you press a button. It of course feels more natural to be able to simply press a button or grab things and move them around. Point. So currently Kinect does not give us anything other than the hand location, an opposing hand location. What we want to do is on top of this we want to recognize certain hand gestures to enable more natural interaction with applications. Specifically, we are trying to recognize the open and closed hand states. Here, blue stands for an open hand state and red stands for a closed hand state. And by recognizing just these two hand states, we can emulate hand grip like this. This is actually a very challenging problem because compared to the body, the hands are much smaller in size and there is a lot of variation in shape and size between different people. And if you move farther away, your hands become much smaller. How we attack the problem by training a machine learning model and to do that we uh, collected a bunch of training data, what, what we call training data. It, this, it is simply recordings of different people doing open and closed hand states. So they are performing different hand gestures, given a different scenario for each of them. And we labeled those videos to know exactly when, where the hands are located and what the states are. And we trained our machine learning model using this information to make it as robust as possible. By mapping the hand grip event to actual touch events of Windows, we can actually readily use Windows applications by using hand gestures. I can paint. I'm not a good painter. <laughs> so. And you can even use two-handed gestures to zoom in and zoom out. And, and you can readily do this with uh, any touch-enabled application you can find in Windows Store, such as games or painting applications, multimedia applications. And